We love you, Harold. <laughs> Let's talk about the weather a little bit now, shall we? Temperatures for most today in the 60s. We had some places get a little warmer. My weather watcher in Mullins, for instance, pushed 70 degrees today. But overall, again, it was a little bit cooler than average for this time of year. Overall, not uncomfortable, though. I was still able to get outside and get the lawn mowed. In fact, on days like today, it's better to mow the lawn because you don't get so hot. You've got a nice little breeze cooling you down every once in a while. We did have plenty of sun today, though, so just because it's cooler doesn't mean you don't need the sunscreen. If you are going to be out and about in the coming days when the sun's out, still protect your skin. But overall, temperatures are going to stay kind of on the cooler side in the coming days. So if you like today, you'll like tomorrow. We could get a warm-up, I'm thinking, maybe next week. I'll get to that in just a second. But right now, again, things are quiet. Our satellite and radar just showing a few clouds. I think tonight's going to be a cool night for sure. Again, most of us are still sitting in the 60s. We've got some 50s now. Uh, showing up and we'll have 30s and 40s overall overnight tonight, especially once that sun goes down. We're going to start to cool back off now. Generally again, as I expected, pretty dry conditions over the next few days, not completely sunny and clear. We've got high pressure at the surface, which is fighting for control. We do have this frontal boundary to our south that's responsible for a little bit of instability. More of that instability will be to our south, though, across the Carolinas in the coming days, especially across the high country into tomorrow. We don't see much from that system and just enough of that moisture with a little upper level disturbance at the upper levels of the atmosphere. It could create a just enough energy for a, maybe a stray shower tomorrow morning, especially southern parts of our viewing area. But generally we dry out again tomorrow afternoon and high pressure is going to stay the dominant influence over our weather pattern through Thursday and I'm thinking most of Friday too. So let's take a close look at future cast. Here we are tonight. We will see some clouds build in as that system brushes us, but Generally, we should stay pretty quiet. Most of us again tonight, 30s and 40s. Now, eventually that cloud cover sags to the south tomorrow. We could see a stray shower somewhere here along south of 460 maybe, but most of us again stay dry tomorrow afternoon. Some sun, 50s and low 60s again. If we're talking about the chance for rain, again, it's going to be very isolated over the next few days. I'm thinking Thursday, even into Friday, the moisture is not that impressive. We're going to see some scattered showers but not enough to cause any flooding issues. We're not really worried about severe weather because the temperatures are on the cooler side. Weekend looking mainly dry as of now too. If there's a warm up though, again, it will be probably next week. I'll show you that on the 10 day here in just a tad. Again, temperatures tonight to recap on the cooler side still. 30s and 40s, just a light little breeze tomorrow about the same as today, maybe a few degrees cooler. We'll start off with a little cloud cover, especially south. And then we'll see more sun during the afternoon. Again, mainly dry aside from some isolated showers. Highs around 60 or so Thursday, Friday. Slightly warmer into the weekend. Still a little unsettled. A better rain chance early next week. And the 70s look to come back next week as well. Hey, stick with us. We'll be right